If I had to pick my absolute favorite anytime, anywhere card trick, it would be without question the multiple card selection routine. The multiple card selection routine is always a hit with audiences because it gives them multiple moments of amazement. And it's a hit with magicians because it establishes that you are an expert with a deck of cards and gives you a lot of moments to let your personality shine through. And that's not just my opinion. Many of the top card magicians in the world close their close-up sets with the multiple card selection routine. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get started. One of the first things you should know about the multiple card selection routine is that it's not actually a routine at all. It's more of a framework. You see, most routines are the same every time you do them. But the multiple card selection routine is different. It's a framework that lets you customize the routine to fit the environment and size of audience that you're entertaining. I've performed the multiple card selection routine while strolling at a cocktail party. I performed it on the trade show floor. I have performed it on stage and I have performed it in the close up gallery at the Magic Castle. It works in a lot of different environments and for a lot of different audience sizes, and that makes it invaluable to the professional entertainer. So let's talk about the structure of the routine. The first thing you should know is that this routine uses a borrowed deck of cards that can be shuffled by the spectator. It doesn't even have to be a full deck. You could be missing a couple cards and it won't affect your ability to do the routine at all. You're going to begin by having five to 12 spectators pick a card. Quick word on that. Traditionally, this routine was done with 5 to 12 spectators, but I recommend keeping it to 7 or 8. I think going much longer than 8 spectators takes a little bit too much time and can really hurt the momentum of the effect. Anyway, you're going to have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 spectators each pick a card, and I recommend doing it as quickly as possible. The selection procedure is always the most boring part of every card trick, so I like to get that over with as quickly as possible. Here's how I do it. The traditional method of having a card chosen, by spreading the cards and having one removed, takes a little too much time when you're working for 7, 8, or 9 spectators. Instead, I prefer to just go through the cards one at a time and have people call stop. That's when they'll each get a card. This makes it completely fair, and the audience can see that every card is really coming from a different area of the deck, and that there's no way that any two spectators have gotten the same card because we're only going through the deck once. After that, I shuffle the cards, and then we're off to the races. Now it's your chance to wow the audience by revealing the cards in whatever ways you want to, and this is what makes the multiple card selection routine so special. It's entirely up to you what you do from here. You can reveal the cards any way you want to. Do you have a favorite color change? Do you have a favorite transposition? Maybe you like card to wallet or having a card appear in the card box or in some other impossible location. You can do it all with the multiple card selection routine. After shuffling the deck and finding everybody's chosen card, everyone in your audience will leave thinking that you are a master with a deck of cards. Now it's important when you do the card reveals that you structure it so that each reveal is more impressive than the one that came before. My first reveal is actually just a very simple one-handed cut. I hold the cards, give it a charlier, turn over the top card, and that's the first card. It's the least impressive card reveal that I do in this routine. But it establishes A, that I have skill, and B, that I'm going to be able to find all of these cards. Each one I do after that becomes more and more impossible, and the reactions from the audience become greater and greater as they are consistently amazed and their expectations keep getting surpassed through each phase of the routine. For the end of the routine, finish with your strongest card revelation. There are tons of different ways to reveal a chosen card. Save the best for last. At the end, everyone will applaud, everyone will have loved it, and you'll be able to entertain an audience as small as 10 people or as large as 100 with proper routining. If you'd like to add the multiple card selection routine to your repertoire, a great place to start is the book Fusilot by Doc Eason and Paul Cummins. It's a fantastic book with a lot of different handlings, and nobody's done the multiple card selection routine more for real paying audiences than Doc Eason. He also happens to be a great guy, so you should definitely support him if you're interested. Anyway, I hope you add the multiple card selection routine to your repertoire. It's a fantastic routine that magicians love for its versatility and audiences love for all of the amazing moments of magic. I hope you enjoy. Happy shuffling. Oh, the six of diamonds. <laughs>